Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So far, we have only looked at the surface mounted PMSM. When a surface mounted PMSM is considered, the magnets are mounted on the surface of the rotor. This results in a symmetrical air gap reluctance for the magnetic flux path. Such a motor is called a surface mounted permanent magnet synchronous motor. The surface mounted PMSM, the DQ axis inductance is equal to each other due to the uniform air gap. Thus the state of flux in alpha beta reference frame is as seen in last video. Similarly, the state of flux can also be represented in the DQ frame, by rotating the flux vector clockwise by theta e, leading to the flux phi mg induced by the permanent magnets of the rotor, is aligned with rotor and its Q axis component is zero. Electromagnetic torque is computed as the cross product of the space vector of the state of flux with state of current, in the alpha beta reference frame as or equivalently, in the DQ reference frame as cross product is calculated using two three-dimensional vectors. The result is the vector. By substituting these equations, we obtain the flux of permanent magnet assumed to be a constant, the electromagnetic torque can be controlled through varying the Q-axis component of state of currents. Therefore, with the electrical model of PMSM and DQ reference frame, the control of PMSM is analogous to the principle of controlling DC motors. However, if one were to use the electrical model in the alpha beta reference frame, to compute the electromagnetic torque TE, the matter would be more complicated. In this case, the space vector of the flux has the relationship with the currents in the alpha beta reference frame. This leads to the expression of the electromagnetic torque via the cross product, that has the following form. This explains why in the control strategies chosen for the later videos, the mathematical model in the DQ reference frame, is predominantly used for the reason that there is a simple relation, between the electromagnetic torque TE and the IQ current. It is worthwhile to emphasize that in the context of controlling a PMSM drive, if the model used for the control system design is based on the alpha beta reference frame, then the manipulated variables are the voltage variables V alpha and V beta. Similarly, if the model in the DQ reference frame is used in the design, then the manipulated variables are the voltage variables VD and VQ. However, in the implementation of the control law, the control signals VD and VQ will be converted to V alpha and V beta signals using the inverse path transform, then to three phase voltage signals VA, VB and VC that will be realized using a voltage source inverter typically consisting of a DC power supply and several semiconductor switches. The main difference between an interior magnet's PMSM, and a surface mounted motor, is that the salience due to the rotor magnets results in a non-uniform air gap flux. Magnets are embedded deep inside the rotor. This results in an asymmetrical air gap reluctance for the magnetic flux path. Such a motor is called an interior permanent magnet synchronous motor. The derivation of its DQ model is very similar to the surface mounted case, and is briefly introduced here. the PMSM with multiple pair of poles, the electrical speed relates to the mechanical speed by rotation of motor can be described by the following dynamic equation. Placing the mechanical speed omega m with electrical speed omega e in the dynamic equation gives the surface mounted PMSM already equals zero control, there is no additional torque component. Thus, Substituting the torque into this equation yields. Together with the electrical model derived in the last video, the complete model of a PMSM is represented by. In the next video, we will show the P-unit model and PMSM parameters, as well as the simulation of the complete model of the PMSM, in Simulink and Simscape. This, the physical model developed is to be validated against the experimental data collected from the testbed. Thank you for watching, please do not forget to like the video, if you like it, and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date.